The globe was built west of London Bridge on the south bank of the Thames River in an area known as Bankside. It was the seedy section of town, frequented by prostitutes, pickpockets, and other unsavory people. Not far from the globe were bear gardens, where Londoners attended entertainments in which a bear chained by the neck or a leg was attacked by dogs. The sport was known as bear baiting. Modern recreations of the first and second globe theaters are based on 17th century descriptions and drawings. No one knows the exact dimensions or appearance of the second globe or its predecessor. Globe theater recreations are based on educated guesses and on a surviving drawing of a rival theater. The original Globe Theater was a wood-framed building with plastered outside walls joining at angles to form a circle or an oval. The interior resembled that of a modern opera house with three galleries protected from rain and sunlight by a roof. Between 2,000 and 3,000 playgoers paid two or more pennies to sit in these galleries, depositing them in a box. The stage was raised four to six feet from ground level and had a roof supported by pillars. In front of the stage was a roofless yard for up to 1,000 groundlings, or stinklings, who paid a gatherer a penny to stand through a performance under a hot sun or threatening clouds. When bored, they would buy food and drink from roving peddlers, exchange the news of the day, and boo and hiss at the actors. Actors playing gods, ghosts, demons, and other supernatural characters could pop up from the underworld through a trap door on the stage or descend to earth from heaven on a winch line from the ceiling, which was also known as the heavens. There was no curtain that opened or closed at the beginning or the end of plays. At the back of the stage there was probably a wall with two or three doors leading to the dressing rooms of the actors. These rooms collectively were known as the tiring house. To tire means to dress, that is, to attire oneself. Sometimes the wall of the tiring house could stand as the wall of a fortress under siege. Props and backdrops were few. 